Hello everybody, my name is Wilder, and we got a new trailer for Story of Seasons Friends of Mineral Town, and in this trailer, something very, very special happened. They showed the two new mystery marriage candidates. They were finally revealed, and you know what? We were wrong. I was wrong. I have a video where I took the most popular guesses as to who it might be, and looked at how much those characters would make sense and how well they would fit. If you'd like to see that video, then there is a card in the top right corner, because it's still fun to watch. However, all those guesses were wrong because these candidates are two brand new characters. And of course they are, because I made a video on them being returning characters from old Harvest Moon games. So of course they're different. Anyway, let's take a look at these characters, shall we? Let's start with The Bachelor. I want everyone to meet Brandon. Brandon lives with Gots. He's an artist who loves to make carvings. If you take a look at the screenshot I have here on screen, then you will see Brandon in Gots' house, and there are a few really nice looking carvings around him. He seems to be a really good artist. The carvings are really cute. Brandon focuses on his work so much that he doesn't pay attention to the things that are going on around him. This means that he isn't very good when it comes to people, but that doesn't mean that he dislikes people. It sounds like the main character is going to have to bring him out of his comfort zone a little. So Brandon looks super cool. I don't know about you, but I really like his design. I think it's very cool. He looks a little older to me than the rest of the marriage candidates do. Something about his outfit and his face. He looks a little older than the rest, which I am all for. Enough people have asked for older marriage candidates throughout the lifetime of Harvest Moon and especially Rune Factory that I'm all for the decision of making them look a little older. You know, if that's what they were going for here. Brandon honestly reminds me of Grey a little bit, but if Grey had more confidence and wasn't so shy. You know what I mean? Is that just me? Do you see that too? He reminds me of Grey quite a bit, so I'm interested to meet him and learn more about him and his personality. I would love to see him and Grey hang out. I think that would be really interesting. They would either become instant best friends, or really good friends that don't talk a lot but enjoy each other's company. <laughs> anyway, Brandon lives with Gots, and speaking of Gots, here is his new design. Now we've seen him before in trailers, I believe, but I haven't really focused on him in the past, but here he is. Now here's the thing with this one, okay? Here's the thing. I will get used to this design very quickly. It's currently not a problem for me, but I will always prefer the original. His original design was so good, I loved it so much. I really did. His new design, however, is very interesting. It's definitely very different. But enough about Gots, it's time for the second mystery marriage candidate. I want you all to meet Jennifer. Jennifer moved from the city to Mineral Town. She moved here because she loves nature and wanted to live among it. This is further proven by the fact that she lives in a tent in the mountains. I believe we've seen this tent in past trailers before? I'm pretty sure we have. But now we have a good look at it, along with an understanding of what it is, in this screenshot I have of the main character talking to Jennifer outside her tent. In my opinion, I think that she's really pretty. I really like her design. She looks a bit older than the rest of the candidates as well, just like Brandon does. Again, I'm all for that. I approve 100%. I love her hair, her outfit, and I wasn't sure if I was going to, but I really like her hat. This is an interesting one, because in an official Twitter video, you could see Jennifer walking around Mineral Town before she was actually officially announced. But all we could really see was her blonde hair and her hat. Wasn't sure if I would like it, but I like everything about her design. I think the hat suits her quite well. Now speaking of her hair, actually, her hair reminded me of something, and apparently I'm not the only one. A lot of people are saying that Jennifer looks more like Karen than new Karen does, <laughs> you know what I mean? She looks a lot more like what Karen should have been, is what a lot of people are saying. The more I've been sitting with and looking at Karen's redesign, the more I think it's going to fit her personality than I originally thought, so I'm fine with her redesign now. So I don't necessarily agree with this, but it's interesting that people are saying that this is what Karen should have looked like, and it's definitely because of her hair and her face shape. Like I said, not sure if I agree with what a lot of people are saying, but I really, really do like Jennifer's design. It's one of my favorites by far, and I really, really do hope that people like it. So, the mystery marriage candidates were finally revealed, and they both look really, really good in my opinion. I really hope that people give these two a chance and don't just sweep them aside because they're new. Because I think they look really good, and I think they have some really, really nice potential here. I think they're going to do a good job at breathing new life into Mineral Town along with the rest of the changes that are coming to the game. I'm also glad that they aren't afraid to add really big changes in content like the new marriage candidates. I'm also really interested to see these characters talk with and about the other townspeople of Mineral Town, and I'm interested to see the dynamic they'll have and if they'll fit in well. But what I'm most interested to see is what all of you think about these two. What do you think about Brandon? What do you think about Jennifer? How do you feel about having two brand new marriage candidates in Mineral Town? Let me know in the comments down below. 
Don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Down in the description, there are links to my Patreon, my Discord, and my Twitter, so go check them out if you're interested. I want to give a huge thank you to all my wonderful patrons, their names are down in the description. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I will see you in the next one.